Hello my dudes and welcome back to another video. I am so excited to finally be showing you the final version of Fairy Core Waff Leaf. This tour is going to be pretty unedited. I want it to feel very authentic, like you're just kind of wandering around the island with me. So we'll probably get lost. I definitely will trip over my words. It's, it's going to be a fun time. <laughs> Before we get started, here is the map. Here are my villagers. I love each and every single one of them with my whole heart. They are precious. My map doesn't look like anything special. I mostly use custom design pathing, so you can't really see it on the map, but there it is nonetheless less in case you wanted to see it. We're starting here at my house. This is actually the first ever fairy core build that I did. It actually kind of started my love for fairy core. I'm obsessed with it. I still really like it even though, you know, I could have done a few things differently. Obviously, I think we all feel that when we are doing our builds, but overall, I think it's really cute and it kind of sets the theme for the whole island. I also have this diagonal bridge right here connecting my house to the rest of the island and it took me literally 12 years to like figure out how to put it in. So that was super fun. Um, this way, right in front of my house, I have myself a little DIY station. I just really find it convenient to have a crafting table near my house. It just makes it easier for either crafting or customizing items. I also threw down some cluttery items like scattered papers and boxes to make it look like this area is actually used because I do. I actually do use it. <laughs> to the right here is our neighborhood. Let me run all the way to the bottom so you can get a full view of it. <laughs> it's really nothing special. Um, it's just all of my house is all bunched together. I really just wanted all my buildings to be in the same place so everything is very very close to each other. Each little house has their own little yard decorated and I think it's really cute. I'll go ahead and put a few camera views in for you so you can see each of the houses specifically. And then if we continue over here to the left we get taken into our little mush forest here on Waffleaf. I love this build so much. I wanted to keep the island very natural looking, so I felt like a forest was just the perfect way to go. Um, I used a lot of mush items, obviously. The mushrooms customized in the red and white polka dot pattern is my favorite, so I love that we got to use it for this build. It extends over here past this waterfall, and I just find this area to be so peaceful and pretty. Again, very natural, very overgrown. I know this isn't everybody's vibe, but it's definitely my vibe and I'm obsessed with it. I did have a mush forest on my other version of Waff Leaf as well, but I do like this one just a bit better. I think it fits our theme a lot better and it just feels more cohesive with our island. Also, it does continue onto the second story. I just wanted to give it some dimension and make it feel like the forest was there before any of us lived on the island. So. It's like a two or three story mushroom forest. I don't even really know. I just know that I wanted it to take up a lot of space and I love how we got to customize it. I'm just gonna wander back over this way to show you the next part of our island. I'm stuck. Okay, right off of the mush forest, we have a little park area. I do have quite a few of these on the island. Um, it's just a place where you can kind of relax, chill, hang out. I do extend some of the mush furniture this way. That's why you see like a mush partition and the log. And over this way, we have a little park slash farming area. I probably will change this up once we get some of the new crops and stuff in the 2.0 update. But I just wanted to try my hand at a farm core build, but make it fairy core. That's where like the pastels and star fragments and stuff come in. This coconut tree was not supposed to grow in. Um, so that is an error on my part. Okay. I dug it up much better. <laughs> anyway, I really like how this little part turned out. I like the hedges in the background. Um, I like the fact that the cacao trees look like they're supposed to be planted. So I have a few of them just lingering in the back, waiting for someone to dig up a spot to plant them. And yeah, overall, I think this spot looks really, really cute. I do have quite a few parks and stuff just here on Waff Leaf because parks and picnic spots just feel so natural to me. So that's what we have a lot of. Over here, we do have our little star fragment and lavender farm. This is honestly one of my favorite builds to make simply because it was really easy, but I think it adds a lot to the island. This build was inspired by Atlas and Caden. So thank you so much for the inspiration I got when I was touring your guys' islands. Plus it is one of the first things you see off of the airport, which I think is really cool. Speaking of the airport, it's right here. And here's our entrance. Um, This was the first thing I ever built on stream with your guys' help and opinions and stuff. So I really, really love how it turned out. I did take inspiration for this build from two different photos that I found on Pinterest. So I will go ahead and link my Pinterest account down below in case you wanted to take a look. We do have another diagonal bridge across that way, but we're not gonna go there yet. We'll go there in a little bit. Um, I wanted to first take you um, past this way. Let's go to resident services, which is just over here. 
Nothing special, obviously resident services is the same for every island, but right above resident services, we do have this little coffee stand, which I think is so cute. I really wanted to use a Sanrio set for this version of Waff Leaf because it fits so well with the whole fairy core theme. I think the Sanrio set fits best for um, the kid core and fairy core theme. So you know I had to use a ton of this furniture around. It all just feels so cozy. And imagine just sitting here on a little picnic spot or on a bench, sipping some tea, sipping some coffee or hot chocolate, whatever hot beverage of choice you want. I just think it's a really fun time. And that actually leads straight into our library build, which I am obsessed with. I have two of my favorite villagers living here on the library. It's Pico and Daisy. I also built this on stream and I really love how it turned out. Bookstores and libraries and places like that are really safe spaces for me, so I wanted to recreate that on Waffleaf. I know it does look a bit busy and cluttered a little bit here. That is kind of a motif throughout our island, but I personally really like how it looks and I much prefer it this way than it looking too bare. We are just gonna run down here, um, back to my entrance. I'm gonna run because you already saw all this. Um, let's just go back to the entrance because we're gonna go see what is to the left. Nope, to the right of resident services now. Here again is our entrance with this diagonal bridge. This whole entire area is basically just a big park slash field. And I wanted it to feel very overgrown and aside from the terraformed rivers, I wanted it to look untouched. So it does look like we just scattered some furniture items around. That's the point. It does look a bit messy, but that was kind of what I was going for here. So I'm just gonna walk around slowly so you can take a look. These heart ponds are one of the last things I added to the island and I'm obsessed with them. I think they're gorgeous, beautiful, and they add so much and they make the map look really pretty. If we veer off this way, we do come to our Crescent Moon Lake, which I think is so pretty. Again, very overgrown, very natural looking. My villagers love to hang out here, so that is a big plus. I feel like Crescent Moon Lakes like this are seen on every Fairy Core Island. It's kind of like a staple, so we had to put it on ours too. It actually leads us over here to our campsite. It's really nothing special. I wasn't really sure what to do with the campsite, um, so I have a lot of the kids' tents placed. It does lead off into the beach as well over here. So let's just wander around. Um, if we go a little faster up this way, you'll see I do have my campsite up here, right near the rocks, right at the edge of our island. I don't have a visitor staying there today, which is kind of a bummer. It would have looked really nice with the tent there. Um, but see, it does extend into the beach. I wanted this to be like a little stargazing area down this way. So we have some star fragments dropped, some of the Nova furniture, and then again, some more of the Sanrio sets. So even though I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the campsite, I think it turned out really pretty. I love all the items that we used and I feel like the kids' tents are one of the best items to use in game for fairy core or honestly any kind of themed island. I think they work so well and you can just integrate them so easily onto your island. Now bear with me, we're gonna zoom back this way. <laughs> and we're gonna walk all the way over here to our little butterfly walk. This was actually inspired by a real life um, event that takes place at a safari park near my house. Um, every year they bring in butterflies. They have a little butterfly exhibit. You can feed them nectar. They come and land on you. So here I did just use a bunch of butterfly models and flowers and stuff to kind of get that vibe, get that feel. I really like how it turned out. I like the terraforming that I did here. I'm really proud of this little spot. It is very tiny. I wish I would have extended it to go a little further. I don't know but I do really like it, I think it's nice. And it just feels very peaceful to me. Our butterfly walk does lead to our teddy bear tea party, which I wish I would have done a little bit differently. I don't necessarily love how this turned out. Um, it is two stories, so I'll run up here really quickly so you can take a look. I do love the giant like teddy bear to the left, but other than that, I wish I would have done this build a little bit differently. I do like some aspects of it, such as the mom's cake and the present pile, as well as the planters we used in the back for fencing. But like I said about another area, I might change this when the update comes out, when we get new furniture items. Really quickly, let's go this way. And before we head up that ramp, I wanted to show you this teeny tiny little gardening area. It's right outside of our library, as you can see to the left. I feel like in a very subtle way, I was testing out some farm core elements here. Really, I just wanted this little gardening spot to take up a little awkward bit of space that was kind of right here in the corner. So that's why it's here, if I'm being completely honest. And it's time for the last big build here on Waffleaf. Up this ramp is our giant shopping district. 
But I did build this on stream. It was quite an overwhelming amount of space because I did make it really big. Um, so I ended up just keeping it very, very natural. We went really heavy with the whole overgrown look. So I have a lot of weeds and random flowers placed. Some of it is meant to be a little bit structured like this museum section, but overall I did want the vibe of this just to be very natural. Like we had to just throw furniture around the space uh, without messing with it too much. As I'm kind of walking around and touring this space, I do think that this is gonna be a spot that we're gonna redo once all the items from the update comes out. Like I said, it is a really, really large space, so I did get very overwhelmed and frazzled, and I think I just panicked with this build. So I do wanna like redo it and try to redeem myself. In camera mode, the buildings by themselves with their little surrounding decor look pretty okay, they look fine, but the space as a whole just feels kind of unfinished to me. So we'll come back to this. And that is basically it for my island. I want to end the video by saying my island is pretty simple. It's not as well decorated or well terraformed as other island tours you might have seen, but that's okay. I am really proud of this island. There are a few spots here in this tour that I did not venture off into, such as the beaches, etc, etc. But you can find them and walk around Waffle for yourself. Here is the updated dream address in case you would like to visit and see the whole entire island. If you do visit, let me know what you think. Take some pictures while you're there. Tag me over on Instagram if you want. I'd love to see them. I want to thank you so, so much for watching this video. Don't don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you very, very soon in the next one. Until then, stay safe and take care. Bye!